Moving on to the tenth Doctor figure now from the Shakespeare Code. This is just a standard tenth Doctor body that we've had since 2006. Um, it was, you know, the chances of them changing it or revamping the sculpt to make it look different, um, the chances of them doing that were very rare indeed. And, you know, it's a lot easier just to sort of stick a bit of a repaint on it, uh, done and dusted. Um, it is This figure is quite clear that it's very evident that um, character options and the manufacturers paid a lot more attention to the classic Doctors rather than the new ones because they simply are just re-releases. Uh, having said that, this figure is a massive improvement over the 10th Doctor that we've got in the 11 Doctors box set for the purposes of the fact that um, it's a much more crispier, more tidy um, paint application rather than the one on the 11 Doctor set was just a big mess so this one is a nice as a nicer improvement um, and of course it looks very much like Tenant um, I do like the application the paint applications on the head um, the coat um, you may not notice it in this light but it is a lighter brown in comparison to other 10th Doctor figures um, you've got your standard brown and blue um, pinstripe suit, but on this occasion we've got a plain white shirt and the tie is not um, got any patterns on it, it's just brown or dark red. The the va the shoes or the vans, they're a bit dirty, they're a bit more dirtier, but then of course he's been running around in the in the dirt, hasn't he, in that story, so that's you know acceptable. Other than that, there's not really an awful lot to say. I mean, there isn't much articulation in this figure. I mean, there is some in the head and the arms move, you know, free, do 360s. There isn't any uh, bicep articulation. The knees can bend. The hands can't really turn that much. The hands can't really move at all. Um, the knees can bend. Um, but, of course, the coat hinders some articulation and the feet don't move. So, you know, it's just your basic standard 10th Doctor figure. Um, I would have also, I would have liked to have, personally, I would have liked to have seen the tuxedo figure. I doubt we'll ever see that. Or what we could have had was a brown and blue pinstripe suit, but with the end of time, with the new end of time head, but clean, not the battered version. Um, so, yeah. Another one. Another tenant to add to the collection of about. 11 or 12. Moving on now to uh, the 11th Doctor in the set, which is from The Beast Below. Ugh, it's a bit bl there we are. Sorry, I was a bit blurry there for a second. Um, yeah. So, this 11th Doctor is the exact same figure as the um, series previous series 5 releases. It's the exact same sculpt. Um, personally, I, did, I really didn't want to see this costume released again. Or if, I, if it was going to be released again, um, it could have been the blue shirt with the blue bow tie because I don't have that variation. Or what they could have done was repainted it, repainted the shirt blue and had the maroon bow tie, so it looked like a series six variation. Or what they could have done was the long was the long green coat with the um, white stetson. Uh, that would have been quite good. Only I suppose when it comes to resculpt, when it comes to resculpting things like that, uh, it's going to cost them more. And for a set which is over a hundred pounds, um, to add re and things, it would have pushed the whole price of the set up. Um, so I suppose what we can only sort of tend to expect from these sorts of things are just re-releases and repaints. Um, this is another disappointing one, um, but this is another disappointing one, but it's not too bad. Um, 
I mean, the likeness on this on this figure is much better. Uh, is a much better look uh, on Matt Smith than other figures. Um, it sort of capture. It does sort of capture his youth very well. Um, hair's quite a good sculpt. Um, there's lots of nice sort of sort of there's nice sort of little wavings in the hair, which make it look much better. Um, the jacket is noticeably different in terms of colour because it's a lighter um, brown in comparison to it being like sort of darker. So yeah, the jacket is not is a noticeable difference. Um, navy blue, navy blue trousers rather than the black, and just the standard brown shoes. Um, but all in all, yeah, it would have been nice to have seen a much more different um, edition of the Eleventh Doctor. There's not really an awful lot much that I can say, which is disappointing because I want to, I want to sort of, you know, I want to point out differences. I want to point out what I like so much about a figure and what I don't like about them so much about the figure, and I can't really do that. When it's simple, when it's simple re-releases, um, because I've already formed opinions of that specific figure. Um, but yeah, all in all, yeah, it's it's all right. It's not as bad as the Seventh Doctor, for example. Uh, and so the final figure is Peter Capaldi um, in his black shirt. It says it's from Deep Breath, but then Capaldi never wore a black shirt in Deep Breath. Um, if you're interested in wanting to know the full ins and outs of, of the Twelfth Doctor, then please check out my uh, review of the Twelfth Doctor figure that I did a few a, a time ago, a long time. Well, I wouldn't say a long time ago, um, but yeah, just 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 go and check out the video of my review of the Twelfth Doctor. So that more or less concludes my review of the 13 Doctors Collector's set. It is a highly competitive set to get. Um, it's highly collectible. Um, lots of nice uh, new variants and nice retweets added to uh, figures just to make them look a bit more, you know, different or, you know, slightly more polished and improved. Um, so before I wrap the whole thing up, I'm just going to very quickly go into uh, the packaging. Uh, of this set. The figures come packaged in a massive uh, window box with the standard uh, design for the collector's line indicating what the product is, how big the figures are, safety procedures, um, bonus in what it includes, what's in the set and a little bio about every different doctor. If you don't have this set then I recommend that you try to track it down if you can. Uh, it's available uh, as a Toys R Us exclusive at the price of £99.99, uh, but it's also available uh, online, so um, Doctor Who fans like myself probably are going to want to have to track this down online. One thing I will say about Toys R Us is that um, on their website it shows that this figure is currently um, out of stock and not available for delivery, so just keep checking the website, keep checking for updates. Um, Keep trying to sort of um, chase it up if you can, and don't just rely on uh, back in stock emails. Um, and just sort of try to, you know, track this set down uh, if you can, because it is a really great set. Even if it is just sort of, you know, repaints and re-releases, you know, it's nice to have different variations of the Doctor available to us. Um, and it's nice that this sort of is another way of keeping the uh, five inch range going for a little while longer. Um, so thank you very much for watching this review. I hope that it was useful to you um, should you want to go and uh, get the set. Uh, I highly recommend that you do. And thank you for watching and I will see you next time in another Doctor Who action figure review.